What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a new Shutter film that just came out called Hellbender. Let's check it out. So Hellbender just came out and decided to pop it on and check it out. This is a movie that is about a mother and a daughter who are kind of dealing with some of the family's secrets. There is something going on with witchcraft that you are shown right off the bat in the beginning of the movie that does some pretty interesting and new things in the witchcraft sort of genre. This girl starts to discover more and more about her background than she ever knew by coming of age. So it is a coming of age horror tale, which we've seen multiple times in different types of films. This one in particular, I kind of enjoyed. Independent film, no takeaway there. This is a family project. And literally, if you look on the cover of this film, it says an Adams Family film, which at first I was like, huh? Adams Family? Not that Adams Family. No, this is a completely new real family that uh, actually has a band called Hellbender. So quick story on that. They have had this band that started out once before called Kid California, and it's everyone involved. You got John Adams, Zelda Adams, who's the lead girl in this movie, Toby Poser, who plays the mother in this movie, and Lulu Adams, who actually is the friend, Amber, in the movie. So they all started a band called Kid California, and they had this sort of darker tone to it. Through some crazy happenings, Toby Poser, the the, the woman who plays the mother in this movie, she actually found out in real life that she was a sperm donor baby and she did not know who her father was and got to thinking what if the devil was my father well that's what spawned hellbender which now the band goes by hellbender only with sixes instead of the e's which is pretty cool so the music that you hear in this movie is actually authentically from this family and they did everything this is a complete production team that does everything for it they found all the locations they pretty much did just about everything except visual effects which was done by trey Lindsay, who actually worked on another film that they did called the deeper you dig but yeah i thought that was really interesting for a movie because that's a lot of lore on there that i didn't expect but yeah this movie is actually pretty fun i had a good time watching it it has a lot of weird tones going in it there's this sort of very dark artistic and very stylistic film shooting that has all these sort of images that are splashing the screen throughout to kind of guide the viewer through this sort of witchcrafty experience and it really works the music actually kind of works with it which I kind of feel like is like a post sort of alternative style music that you would have heard maybe during the 90s but is now being sort of its own thing kind of with a folky sort of feel to it so some of the songs are slow some of them are hard but it all works well with this movie as you are sort of getting to know this Izzy character who is coming into her powers and some of these powers get worse and worse and worse but there's like this weird tied in fun thing with the mom and the daughter in this clearly they're related so there's probably some comfortability there however i think some of the parts where it lacks in this movie is some of the acting now the acting isn't bad or anything like that but there is some very weird deliveries in this movie that probably would pass as like your regular kind of I don't know day-to-day stuff but isn't really as passable in the media as a film it's not terrible we're not talking like blockbuster film here but it isn't bad it's very tolerable and I felt like it kind of works with the mother-daughter relationship which I think were kind of good they work together pretty well and even expands upon it later on in the film there is some blood in this movie there is a lot of like kind of ritualistic things In fact, some of the witchcraft in this movie is actually pretty just out in the open, like right off the bat, which is really different from a lot of the films that kind of do this. They tend to kind of hold back and let it reveal over time, maybe even just wait till the very end to show any kind of witchcraft, kind of like the witch did. But this kind of just shows you its cards, goes for it, 
And I kind of like that. I kind of like that it was just so out there about it because then you're kind of not wondering anymore and you're just kind of like focused on the relationship, which is pretty much the, the lion's share of this story. You know, as this girl finds friends and kind of ventures outside of the house and kind of learns to grow, she sort of finds out about what's going on in this family and it gets pretty violent but the relationship between the mom and the daughter is probably the most important here as they're pretty much the centerpieces of this film yeah it's an indie film and some of the acting isn't exactly on par but the imagery the music the sound the shots are all really great and even if the acting isn't a hundred percent it still delivers a pretty powerful punch by the end of the movie which i enjoyed now this isn't going to be the best movie i've seen all year but it is pretty and i really appreciate the kind of efforts that they're putting behind this movie to make it visually appealing and kind of do some funny things in this movie some camaraderie with the characters and for a family to kind of pull this off together as a team is kind of cool so while i may not have loved the film i'm still kind of admire this film in a lot of ways it's not only fun disturbing and kind of original it just has this thing that makes it work with it that you wouldn't see in a normal big budget film or even some of the higher spent indies it shows you that you can get out there and do do it with a little bit of thought and a simple idea. The story here isn't exactly the biggest story, so if you're looking for something that's going to really dig deep into this lore, lore that these people actually created in their own universe, which I appreciate, it has some things that are interesting, but it's not exactly going to fill the viewer in all the way, and that may leave some questions asked for some people. But I think you get the gist of the film, and it kind of makes sense for what they're trying to do, and for a coming-of-age tale that you can tuck in into a horror movie which is you know perfect fodder for all this weird crazy activity i think it's pretty good and i enjoyed it so i would probably give this film a 7 out of 10 i think if you keep your expectations low on the story and just kind of go for the ride it's going to be a really unique experience for you and while it can be slow at times for the typical sort of casual viewer but if you're not into the slow stuff it may not be for you. It isn't as slow as a lot of other movies I've seen, but just understand that you're going for an artistic sort of film that's independent that would kind of look like something that you would do for a music video, which Hellbender is a band technically with all sixes instead of E's, and they kind of made this work into this really interesting story. So even if you don't like the movie, I think it's just an interesting story altogether, and I'd be curious to see what they come up with next but yeah that's my thoughts on this shutter original movie what do you think about this film have you seen it yet have you popped it on have you not have you seen the trailer and weren't convinced i like it i think it's pretty cool so have you checked it out yet let me know what you think in the comment section down below and as always long live the voice